Bogo Indian defense, Grunfeld variation. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than Black in the opening. That was a well-fought middle game that Black got the better of. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. The move e6 creates a line for the dark squared bishop, sets up a rapid castle, and prepares to push a pawn to d5 and recover the piece if it is taken. Nf3 develops toward the center, putting pressure on the e5 square and adding another defender to the d4 pawn. With bb4+, plus, the Bogo Indian defensive, a more strategic opening, aims to rapidly castle kingside and swap the dark squared bishop. Nbd2 develops the knight and blocks the check. This hits in the middle and prevents the opponent from gaining ground. A pawn kicks the opposing bishop, forcing it to move or risk being captured. The bishop is now in a secure position. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. By positioning the bishop on a potent diagonal, this fianchettos the bishop. It is the final book action. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Castling develops a rook while moving the king to a safer position beyond the board's center. Castling to the same side of the board as your adversary helps you escape some of the attacking that comes with castling to the other side. It is ideal. This uses a pawn to attack the center while vying for position. That's good. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is quite good. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is ideal. This defends the pawn that was attacked. It is ideal. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is ideal. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is ideal. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is quite good. This misses a chance to link together rooks. It is incorrect. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. It's alright. That's good. Backs off. That's good. This misses a chance to use a pawn to attack the center. It is incorrect. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. That's good. This strikes at the center with a pawn, fighting for space. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. This requires an outpost, a square that is currently in play where a pawn cannot push the knight off. It is ideal. This is how you take the pawn. That's good. This avoids the queen's check. It is ideal. The knight is now located at an outpost, a safe area inside the enemy's territory. That's good. There was only one good move in that position. It is a mistake. This threatens to reveal an attack on a queen. There was only one good move there. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a miss. This prevents the opponent from being able to reveal an attack on a queen. It is good. This wins a knight. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This gains time by putting a queen in danger and getting it to flee. It is quite good. That knight will get material if captured. That's good. Recaptures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This move puts the rook on a safer square. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, 
which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. It is ideal. This is the only move that works. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. This exposes an attack, threatening a pawn. This is the only good move. This threatens to win a bishop. It is a great move. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. It is ideal. That pawn was available for free. It is ideal. This accomplishes this by posing a threat to a rook and compelling it to flee. It is quite good. This ignores a more effective method for getting a rook to safety. It is incorrect. Although white had had the upper hand, the game is now almost even. It is incorrect. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. The pawn is now in a safe position. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. While not the greatest course of action, this is an intriguing alternative. That's good. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is quite good. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. This wins time by threatening a bishop and forcing it to move away. It is excellent. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. That was a well-fought middle game that black got the better of.